the weather, well, it's uh, started to rain, but, yeah. uh, but it's been lovely over here. Yeah, it has been lovely here too, but today also really humid and very warm and rainy. <laughs> but it's really nice. It feels summery yeah. already. I'm here. Uh, Arbor, well, South Wales in the UK is renowned for its rain. <laughs> yes, yes, that's why I asked. <laughs> so, so, but it's really green there, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's uh, it's nice and warm, but it's just uh, drizzling. Yeah. So, um, how have uh, how have you and the rest of the band been keeping during this uh, troublesome times? Uh, the rest of the we all we have been uh, staying at home. I think mostly. And and uh, trying to avoid other people, <laughs> but but that's what we do in Finland anyway. So, <laughs> so <laughs> yes. Yeah, so there are lots of jokes about Finnish people standing on the bus stops, and there is always like two meters in between. <laughs> yes, but that's really normal. But anyway, it has been uh, quite um, weird, weird spring. I think in everywhere around the world, and and. And we have been staying at home and working from home and and so on. Yeah. But every everybody's well, healthy and nobody has got any uh, bloody COVID nineteen <laughs> virus. And I'm really happy about it. And I yeah, think they are too. Good. That's good news, that is. Yeah. And, um, so if we can start all the way from the the beginning, what was your influences and what drove you to become a band? Um, um, it was in 2012 I left my previous band and yeah. and back then I already knew that I wanted to continue within a uh, metal genre so yeah. so but I didn't have any any uh, you know black band <laughs> so I, I needed to start a band on my own and yeah. because I back then I didn't write any music either. I I had been only writing uh, lyrics for for my previous band, so yeah. I hadn't kind of never tried it even. So it was a little bit of problematic back then because I needed to find someone who kind of writes music. So yeah. I so I started to you know find find suitable partners to work with, and back then I already. Uh, met uh, our producer Mikko, who has been working from ever si from with us from ever since. So, so yeah. it was a really lovely thing that he has been so devoted to Dark Sarah. And but that was the that was the, like the the inspiration for <laughs> starting a band. And from that point, I have started to write music and 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 grown a lot as a musician too so it has been a quite a travel <laughs> quite a journey i mean so yeah and now we're here what instruments uh have yourself uh learned to play and uh did you always play an instrument or is there something which you took up to help write me uh, music I started uh, playing piano when I was uh, in primary school, and that was my first instrument. I went to a music-oriented uh, class, you know, that there was more music than than on normal classes, <laughs> and and um, I started playing piano. And then in high uh, in the upper secondary, I think it's upper secondary. Yeah, it's very, a bit different in Finland than in other countries but but anyway I was like 14 or something I started yeah. sing, singing in choir and also then I started uh, taking singing lessons and I started my classical singing uh, like becoming a professional not not at that early of course but I started the classical training already yeah. quite early I was really young for that and then <clears throat> But I, I've also played accordion. No, what is it? The, the flute, but it's yeah. like, it's like the wooden flute accordion. Yeah. Is it? No, not accordion. I, 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 do you know? 
<laughs> oh, I don't know what is it in English, but anyway, it's a kind of a wooden short fl wooden flute that everybody plays in in school, you know. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I, I I love to play, and actually I played it on 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 the puzzle album <laughs> in one part, <laughs> but not other instruments. No, I've I played piano. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! The the music I, I was um. Uh, listening to uh, to the album uh, again today, and uh, it gives me like uh, the feeling of a uh, like a concept sort of uh, feeling towards the album in a sense. Like there's stories mm -hmm. all the way through it. Is that um, is that what the, the intention of your style would be, or is there something which uh, everybody else? Mm -hmm comes up with a different take of your music? Um, yes, it is a concept uh, music. All our albums are conceptual albums. And yeah. the, the first three albums uh, together are a trilogy and yeah. called The Chronicles. And okay. it was a continuing story. So uh, it, it, you need to kind of learn all the all the albums in the right order to get the full idea. And also I've wrote, uh, written um, <clears throat> a book, a short novel. It's not a long one. It's really because it, it so that it is really easy to read <laughs> so that everybody, those who doesn't read any books can read it too. So, <laughs> uh, so it's, um, it kind of opens up more what you can say in, just with lyrics and music, so that's why I wanted to write a short novel next to the next to the chronicles. And now this new album, the Cream album, starts a new continuing story. And and I'm... like you said, it's a, it it has more to it than just the lyrics. And also a poem book is about to be re released the same time as the album. So oh. yeah. So, so it opens up a bit more the idea of uh, the story of Grimm, yeah. what, what happens there. And so, it's, um, so to get the best um, understanding of it all, mm -hmm. it, the, the book would give, um, like, it would give you the, the story, which the lyrics, um, like, lyrics are to me like poems but yeah. the the book will accompany that and gives you the understanding of what uh, the concept of the albums are Is yes that correct? yes exactly yes yes they, they they kind of add more to it than just the lyrics what they can do so that's yeah. why i've always written something more and yeah. also, in our case, all the all the stories and music videos they are also in the same theme. So, yeah. so everything like the visual part, like our photos and and the music videos, teasers, and and those what whatever you can find that we post <laughs> is, is some some kind of uh, somehow related to to the story of the album. Right. So it's like. Um... It's like uh, Meatloaf when uh, Eden is like most of his albums are like concept with if you see the music video, it it gives you the um, the visual of what the, the song is trying to say. So, yeah. uh, so that's what's um, with your music is it? it's it gives you that. So if you watch the music video, it tells you basically the visual side of uh, the song. Yes, exactly, yes. I didn't know that Meatloaf did conceptual albums. I, I've, I've known him the, and his music, but I, and actually I, I, I kind of dig some, some of his work, but I never knew that he made also conceptual albums. Well, most of his albums, if you see the music videos, it's yeah. uh, there's a theme which goes all the way through the album. So okay, nice. Yeah, if um, next, I, I'm trying to think which uh, uh, you've got. Uh, oh, God, my, my my mind's gone blank. Uh, <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> um, but if you see his music videos, there's always a theme 
and it's like um the theme is normally like Booty and the Beast. He's the he's the beast and yeah. there's always Is it that I would do anything for love? Is it that one? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I think Um, it's that one. (laughs) Yeah, but quite quite a few of his albums I've got, when you see the music videos, they they normally connect. So, yeah, yeah. nice. I have to, I have to search more. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Yeah. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's that's the feel which I get with his music and his music videos and all yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Um, nice. Um, staying on the concept side of it, mm-hmm. and you're saying that uh, you're going into um another um phase with the concept. Will that still be connected to the the other concept albums, or will it be a totally new um? Well, yeah, like a, a new style of book, and or will it be connected? Uh, it will be uh, slightly connected, yes, because uh, Luna, who is the protagonist of this new story and this new new storyline, is uh, the new incarnation of Dark Sarah, and and you will find more about it and how he how is it possible and what happened. From the book, <laughs> I want people to read the book, <laughs> the poem book, when it comes out. But anyway, it's it's a little bit. It's a kind of. Um, I would say it's a. It is a transport yeah. album. Do you know? So it's it's kind of has something old and something new, and this is something that I w- wanted to to do for our fans who kind of needed a resolution. What happened to Dark Sarah and Dragon? In after the because on their last album, the Golden Moth album, Dark Sarah died, and and it kind of I left it open. So what happened to Dragon? So uh, everybody's asking. They want to have. But they want to know what happened, <laughs> and this album answers to that question. But still, this starts something totally new with yeah. the, with Luna Luna character. And yeah. and that's what I'm aiming to on this next album. <laughs> then the <laughs> second part of this this new storyline. So this is kind of giving our fans something that they really have been asking for, but something yeah. new at the same time. Also uh, musically, I would say. It's um the the funny thing about it is with what you're saying to me now. Mm-hmm. When I go back and I listen to the albums again, mm-hmm. we'll have a different understanding about the other albums because now I know there's a a continuation storyline. Mm-hmm. I will go out now and I will, if I'm able to purchase that book, I will purchase that book and mm-hmm. it'll give me a totally different um understanding about the albums because yes, but, yeah yeah fantastic it's yeah. just it's, <laughs> to me it was like a concept but what was the concept but now i know there's a book <laughs> yeah <laughs> just, yeah I'd be like, yes yeah, yes yeah. The internet is weird because even though it's like i put it everywhere but still all only the few posts you know get get uh the, the, you don't see all, all the posts and everything, so I, I've been thinking about how to get people to know that there is. This is how you read Dark Sarah. So, so yeah. there's like three things that you have to. If you want to dig deeper, then you need to know all the whole story. But for yeah. you, I, I know that if you haven't read uh, the Chronicles yet, it's on our website and it's for free right. for everyone there. So right. the book, the whole book, is there. <laughs> and, oh, and, and I'm definitely going to do that because, yeah, it's like um, I, I'm a big Wasp fan, and uh, Blackie Lawless does quite a few conceptual albums. Yeah, but when you 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 can get the understanding through the music, mm. but sometimes you just wish, right? I wish there was a, a book to go with mm. it, so I I can read the book, I understand the book. 
I mm. know what the music is all about. And now I've got that with um, newer music. Mm. And, uh, it, it's going to take it for me in a totally different thing. Because it, it'd be like what, for me, it'd be like watching a film. So I'd be, yeah. reading, a, I'd be reading a book, watching your music videos. I can get a, a total understanding about uh, about mm. it. Yes, yes, that's that's exactly right, and that's what I wanted to create. Yeah. Yes, and and also for the Grimm album, there is this poem book, and this time a poem, another novel, because yeah. I wa I wanted it to be kind of written in the same way as I write my lyrics, because I'm not a I'm not a like a real writer, writer, you know, author, <laughs> like writing books, but I, I do write stories, but it, it was uh, because I, I always write straight away in English and it's not my native language. It's yeah. always, uh, it's, it's really hard to, you know, get it interesting enough when you're writing like a novel style. Yeah. So I thought that maybe the poem or rhyme style would suit me better and actually when I when I started to do it it was like it 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 was created in no in an instant so so it, it was really easy and I I really liked it so I hope that people write re reading poems too <laughs> <laughs> or it's like my um, proofreader says that it's more like a, a nursery rhymes <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's it's kind of the style. I mean, yeah. it's like that. But of course, it's a, still has this kind of a horror and and fantasy theme in it. Yeah. Well, I I write lyrics and all that, and uh, I write songs. And mm. the funny thing about it is, people always say to me, "Good God, you were you were so, uh, songs are bloody terrible." They, in the <laughs> same song, you're like. Oh my god, it, it's like all a theme, and I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get at. I'm trying to <laughs> go down the all horror theme, and I wrote a song called Madness, and it's a, basically about Michael Myers from from Halloween. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. People like, well, what's this one? What's going on? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. understand. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's a weird thing that I don't actually watch any. Uh, horror movies at all because I get terrible nightmares. The, they are wor <laughs> they are worse than the movies, and that's the reason why I don't watch them. But still, I I have a good clue what is really horrible and what is really scary. So, but this album is not the most scary ones in this uh, series of this horror storyline. But it's it it kind of uh, opens up the curtain a bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you've got the album coming out in July, Grim, and mm -hmm. um, uh, you're saying it's um, about uh, a new character. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a bit about her? Yes, I, I kind of uh, just briefly said about her. Is she's called Luna, and yeah. she she is. Um, 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 people will know that she is the new incarnation of Dark Sarah, who died in the latter album, the last album, the Golden Moth album. And and because in the end of the Golden Moth album, uh, Dark Sarah, as she dies, she transforms into a moth. And right. because uh, Dragon turned the Time Turner watch and yeah. tried to save her, but they both kind of ended to a loop like this kind of a time loop and yeah. they both ended to this place this city which is called Grimm and also our album name and and there she became there and there uh, met a witch who yeah. um, who changed her into a woman back to a woman as, as she was originally so it's kind of like a metamorphosis yeah in in between so so she born she's reborn in 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 grim and actually in grim there has been this been this kind of a myth of a um lunar deity who will come there and save them uh, the the citizens of grim from the ty tyranny of a monster called murk oh 
right? Yes. Yes. So this is briefly the idea of the album and yeah. also who Luna is. Yes. Oh, it sounds brilliant. It really, really does. Nice. <laughs> it does. It really sounds like, like I say, I'm uh, probably either tonight or tomorrow, I will be listening to the albums and reading the story because I want to catch up before July comes so I know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, do that. Oh, definitely. definitely. Yeah. definitely. <laughs> so that is, I, I think that uh, Dark Sarah is kind of, I've always said, I, I want it to be like a, a movie in your mind because we don't, you, it's not a movie in that way that you can sit down and watch the whole thing and somebody has made all the pictures ready for you. But, but Dark Sarah wants to create something uh, that you have to build the stories, the, the images, you know? Because yeah. when, when you're reading a book, you will always, I do, I don't know if ever, everybody else does, but I do get a scenery and also the characters, how they look, and I could walk yeah. in there. If, if it's a good book and it creates a really beautiful or really specific scenery so that's what i wanted to create so we give kind of like hints or just like flashes what kind of things we are doing with our music and music videos and all the pictures and and that all the visual stuff so so after that it's all about your imagination and that's what i wanted to do well funny you should say that i i when i read a book i'm like what you say i I build up a picture, I build up who the person looks like, how they would act and stuff like that. And mm. there's about three books which uh, I've done that with and they've gone on to make either a series or a film from it. And yeah. and when I've, I've gone, right, oh my God, right, it's coming on, I want to watch this. And then when I watch it, I go, well, that don't go, that don't go to what I... Yeah. Uh, Interpret. <laughs> yes, yeah, so sometimes you you have you have better pictures in your head than the movie is. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, that's bloody ruined that when I, <laughs> I yeah. go back. To that. So um, no, I, I I'm exactly the same. I I pick up pictures in my head of how that person would look, how they would act, how they would speak, and yeah. uh, I, I think. Uh, like you say, your imagination is far more creative than what sometimes on the TV actually portrays. Yes, exactly. Yes. But I would so, say that, yeah, continue, please. Yeah. Well, what I was, was going to say was about um, the touring. Um, have you had to cancel much for this year? No, uh, actually, it's, what happened is that we finished our. Uh, recordings of our this album in the in end of the last year and yeah. then we would have started the you know the bookings and everything like i think it would be february but already yeah. then came the um uh, the virus thing yeah. situation and so we don't we have only empty spaces in our calendar so nothing is there and, and of course, that I think that that is the same thing for all the bands. But some some bands ha had already plans, but we didn't even get to start planning. And now there is nothing. But but what we know that we are going to arrange a, um, album release show. And yeah. at the mo at the moment, we're uh, trying to find suitable possibilities for a live stream. But I'm not sure if it's going to, uh, it's not like 100% sure, but we will announce it later anyway. But there will be a show, but is it like what the situation will be in in August or yeah. or next? Uh, we Nobody knows <laughs> what, what will happen now that the countries are opening their borders and what will happen with the COVID. And we just have to wait and see and be patient. That's that's. Yeah. Yeah. So have you have you got any um any plans for 2021? And uh, finally, um, will we be seeing you in the UK either on a festival or on a tour? I will come there screaming if I can. 
<laughs> yes, I, I, I really want to come there because, yeah. yes, I've been there with my previous band and also touring with, but, but it's not so, so far it hasn't been possible for Dark Sarah like to tour. Uh but we are really uh, like waiting. We are like, we have our boots on already. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we are really waiting for shows and getting abroad and, and somewhere yeah. place else than Finland. We've been to Netherlands and, and also in Belgium just when I, we start, had started, but, but that's all. We haven't oh. visited other, other countries yet with this band. Well. When when you come to the UK, I'm going to make sure I can get backstage and I'm going to question you on all the books and on the poems and on the... <laughs> <laughs> yes, but, but, <laughs> yeah. but what's going to happen in, in ne the next year? I think I'm going to start writing new music uh, as soon as possible. Yeah. And, uh, and because it's good to be releasing music if nothing else happens so that's why I've been so productive in, yeah, yeah. in, in, in making albums and, and that's what I'm going to keep doing as long as I have like ideas and, and yeah. something tickles up my <laughs> imagination so so that's what I'm going to start doing as as soon as, as uh, all the promotion for this album ends and yeah. and I have I will have a little bit spare time <laughs> That's the thing when you've got when you've got a concept, you you can drive that forward. So you, you can like if you're making a film series, for example, Harry Potter, you, you do the five and then she went mm -hmm. be, before. So there's always stories, especially with concepts. To go, you can either have another character and go and branch off that way. You can go back in time, so dark yeah. set of parents and things like that. So it's uh, you, you, you will always, always be have stories and all that which you can share. Which now, yes, exactly, and and also other characters like we have a lot of guests singing on our albums and and. So everything is possible when there are stories. <laughs> it's not it's fiction. So you can yeah. write almost about anything. But I kind of felt that uh, in the end of the trilogy that I have like like eaten the bone <laughs> whole the whole bone with the dark Sarah figure yeah. the character. So that's why it, I was really happy that actually the the, the trilogy ended and I. I could start something really totally new because I was so excited. You know, the idea was already in my mind like two years ago. So I started making songs for this album two years ago. And, and yeah. that's, that's also the reason why I feel that some of the earliest um, songs I wrote for this album are in the kind of in the style of the trilogy. The yeah. first trilogy and and some of the songs are in the style of what's going to come in the future so in that way also like i said before it's a transport album <laughs> this is my dog <laughs> can you hear my... me uh, yes he, he's howling because the other dog is upstairs <laughs> and he he feels he is left alone yeah <laughs> oh bless yeah well, I'll, uh, I'll leave you go to your dogs. And yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, keep me up to date with, uh, with uh, stories and, uh, and with touring. And I hope to see you in the UK very, very soon. Yes, I hope to see you too. Yes, and yeah. take care and safe. And yourself and look after yeah. your dogs. Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Yes, take care. Right, bye. Bye-bye.